Okay guys, uh, welcome to my channel. I actually just got, my, I didn't just get, but I'm really just starting to uh, use my GoPro. So I figured, ah, why not make a video talking about how I'm taking clothing and talk about Facebook and really the number of listings that I'm always trying to accomplish daily and weekly. So I, have, I haven't uploaded anything yet using my GoPro. This is a GoPro 8. I actually bought it a year ago and never took it out of the package. I actually had bought a GoPro 9. And Harry Tornado had gotten a 9. And so did Scott the Bearded Picker. And I don't know if they kept them or not. But there was kind of a complaint. And I think because they were new. So I was like, oh, I don't want to kind of be bothered with it. I was like, I said I didn't even open it. I sent it right back. And I ordered a GoPro 8. But... I guess the problem I've always had is I get stuck on not wanting to uh, try out new technology and stuff. And I do like it. I guess the only thing I don't like is when you're wearing it in the middle of your chest. It's still noticeable versus what I was doing, um, you know, doing this. So what I'm going to show you here is I was struggling in the past to take pictures of clothes. And uh, I buy a lot of good used clothes, but I also buy a lot of new clothes on um, store closeouts and stuff like that. So, Gor Gor Gordman's, yeah, I always want to say Gorsham's, but it's Gordman's. I saw actually the sign up today, but, you know, I bought a whole bunch of uh, clothes and good quality clothes, but I was struggling to really have it up in a background that I could really get a nice flat, and I didn't want to laid on the floor it was dirt. to me that's dirty and so i actually found this board and on the other side is actually advertisement so what i've been doing is kind of taking the picture here and um you know taking it here now if the pants are real long what i'm doing is i'm taking the pants off like i'm i just doing a facebook listing and i folded them up in three and before i put it in a bag i took a picture but I've been upping, I have like 24, 25 listings, and I've been doing actually pretty good on Facebook with um, things under basically a pound and under. And I was going to be a little reluctant, and I'm like, there's a lot of business being done on Facebook, and I can't just ignore that. And I really made it um, the last two months, like I got I to push Facebook, and it's doing okay. I think last month it was uh, something like two hundred and some dollars, but at, at eight dollar transactions, you know that's still okay. And I really think I could easily get it to be uh, seven, eight. I mean, at one hundred fifty bucks a week, I think I could be, get that to be seven, eight thousand dollars easily a year. And I do, I do like because also. Um, the ability to, you know, promote the brand, the Traveling Picker, Pat D's, and, and talk about YouTube and, you know, trying to get people to come over to the website and, and do those types of things. But, you know, um, and right now until December, there's there's no fees. And, and I just figured it out last night that, like, right now, typically in a business uh, or a personal one, they would take 5%. Uh, they said upgrade to a business, you don't pay the 5%. To the end of the year i was like oh that's cool but i had boosted a post and there was one or two items i didn't get no sales from they were signs and now i figured out you can boost a post but you only pay if the item sells but you pay a larger percentage um there's like a couple of them that i have boosted that are like they're they'll get 15 percent sort of like i guess to say yeah exactly the same thing as promoted listings on on um ebay so, I mean, I'm okay with that. If there, I think there was an item like I was going to sell for $5. I upped it a dollar to kind of make up for that little bit of extra, you know, it was $1.50. I think, too, there's a minimum on, on a, like a $5 item. If it's sold, it was automatically like $1.50. So that's a 30% cut. But, you know, if you have got two or 300 of that item and you're in at it at a, at a buck, who cares, you know? And, you know, and a lot of it's experimental, not sure how it's going to all work out and stuff. But I'm going through a lot of the models that I bought 
uh, a year ago, and I had it in storage, and I finally have taken it out of storage, and I'm going through the bags, and it's all new with tags. I, th I think I bought something like 200 pairs of different size uh, baseball pants. At first, I didn't list them because I was so busy with Amazon, and then the problem is with some of those brands, you're gated. You can't list them on Amazon, and uh, you know, it seemed to be uh, what happened was there was a lot of stuff canceled the year that I got them or I got them and, you know, I got them in an off season. And then the following year they weren't sure. I was like, you know, but I did very, I've done very well with the stuff now that everything's open back up and I could sell, uh, like I sold bats, I sold pants. So I have cleats to sell and I have a lot of, I mean, I probably won't sell everything this year and I'm probably a little late because obviously the season has already started, but, you know how that goes. And now with basically some shortages and, and only being able to find certain things at certain, these pants retail for 25 bucks. Um, I have them listed, I think with shipping for 20, uh, that's everything included. Now, you know, it's got to keep in mind, it says 25 bucks, but you know how a lot of these stores are, they have 10, 20% off, um, sales all the time anyway. So, but, um, I'm going to take a picture so this is a, a girl's pair of night pants, and I'll show you. Uh, and what we're doing here. So basically, you know, on my phone, I like that. See, and I can even now what I'll do is I always try to flip it the other way so that I can get the tag in. And these sell for 25 bucks. These are Nike. Uh, what I like about these is I have multiple quantity. So these sell for 25. I'll probably try to get um, with shipping included around $18. So I have right now like three pair. I, I have more because even like these. Wilson Large uh, Men's, they're 34 by 32. I uh, have three, but I just found, I think, around eight or ten more. One, two, yeah. So I have more of those. Some stuff I have, like even like on a good used shirt, um... I'll take some pictures, jackets. So usually when I buy, even when I'm buying stuff from the, the Salvation Army, um, now here's a weightlifting shirt, bodybuilding. So I'll take this picture. And I only got this one. It's good graphics. Not that it's worth a whole lot, but... Um, I got this at the Goodwill, and the reason I could tell is because of the the tag that's still on it. And uh, the only reason I got it is because of the graphics. It's a 2XL, and, you know, I like to get to the point where, and excuse me if I'm sounding a little muffled, I like to get to the point where I could, um, even, at, even sometimes at five bucks a t-shirt, if, if I could sell enough t-shirts to... Uh, I wouldn't even mind if I sold 20 or 30 t shirts a week at five bucks. That's still, I mean, obviously a profit's a profit, but, um, you know, I want, I want to have, that's why I like having different categories so that I can have different, I, and not just depend on, um, you know, one thing. So this was a sponsored by bodybuilding.com. They're not sponsoring Pat D's, but, um, that was a shirt they must have spun. It, it, it looks like it was probably worn once or was probably given out and maybe got thrown into a pile. You know how it is. People wear stuff when they're there. They get it when they got there or they bought a shirt or, or the radio company uh, gave it out. And then they, um, you know, they took it home with them and somebody wound up donating it. But I, my goal is I really want to get to have... To be able to do more, and, and obviously the better that I do on Facebook, the more that I'll list. Obviously, that makes sense. Uh, right now, I have around 26 listings, but 
I have multiple quantities like those pants uh, I, I think I just found like another 10 or 15 pair so I'll have like 18 pair so dollar dollar wise I may have uh, now seven eight hundred dollars worth of listings on uh, Facebook uh, with eBay I have around thirty thousand worth uh, and Amazon I probably have um, hmm probably around seven or eight thousand so you know I really have between everything close to forty thousand dollars worth of inventory you know um listed I uh did really well today and um I had bought in a brand it was like brand new just the only thing was in was the box and you know that that's the thing also is don't put yourself in a box writing off a, a I found a good electronic at a goodwill and I mean, there was like no scratches on it came with the owner's manual the remote like an antenna I mean um a pioneer receiver brand new in the box it goes for around 350 I didn't have the box but uh I had bought it for 25 bucks I put up there for 150 or best offer some two people were watching it I sent 140 best offer and uh it got sold right away so um I had about 20 things listed right now uh that are best offer on eBay. And my eBay's been growing. I'm not afraid to send uh, for best offer if, if the price, you know, if the item's already five or six dollars, I'm usually not sending offers to buyers uh, because it's already priced cheap enough. And, um, you know, like I got the Undertaker action figure on here for 25 bucks, it's got three watchers. You know, a lot of times uh, eBay, you gotta send 10% below. But, you know, most wrestlers right now go for, and I mean, this is 1996. Most wrestlers, uh, I mean, go for 20, 25 bucks regular price now. So I'm not going to, even I got some wrestling magazines for $13.99, $12.99. Uh, I'm not going to send a best offer on those. I mean, I, I, I would still probably take 11 or 12 bucks, but, you know, I mean, that's, that's cheap. Even here, a pair of shorts, nine bucks. I mean, you know how how low, how low do you want me to go so i got 20 21 or 22 um out there but constantly trying i'm not married to the stuff but uh you know i'm always constantly trying to push the numbers have been getting better my rate my um score is going up so that that's good right now um i still can list 142 items which is about $7000 it says to uh list and so i've been i've been shooting for that goal of not worrying about listing every day because things do happen but mostly about uh listing a hundred a week so on 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 ebay and facebook uh amazon i can't count that i mean i list it honestly in the last two days on amazon alone i list it um probably a hundred things um probably about 35 different things but quantity of 130 140 uh you know sometimes they're like I'll, with the amazon stuff i'll buy a store that's closing you know like a walgreens will close like a walgreens closed and i went in there and bought a bunch of stuff and um stuff that i could sell that i'm not gated and you know some of those things you might buy 10 of five of and you know the price that they're selling it what i like about that is i could sell that stuff and still stay competitive with Walmart, not have to overcharge. And, you know, when people do price comparison, they're like, okay, you know, hey, so, you know, um, $15 from Walmart, $15 from Amazon, and I'm the third-party supplier, you know, and it's going to get shipped, you know, I'll, I'll take it. So I do appreciate you guys uh, watching the channel. If you could give me thumbs up, this will be my first official video with the GoPro. I know when I walked back there, I couldn't see the screen no more. So that kind of threw me off. So I see the flashing red button. So I hope it's still working and recording and that I'm not too close because I don't know how close to kind of be to the camera. And uh, I I uh, did a survey yesterday and um, it appears, but it's only 36 people answered out of 3,700, but it appears more people want to see storage unit content or garage or yard sale more than thrift store. Um, 
the problem with that, and to be honest, but yeah, I'm still going to kind of, I guess, you know, th when you go to a thrift store, you can go in for 20 bucks and buy a bunch of stuff and you could do it year round. I live here in Pennsylvania. There's not always storage units. And also when you buy a storage unit, it, that could be a $500 commitment and multiple days of work uh, of garbage and cleaning out and things like that. So, you know, there's those delays in wanting to do those videos. And I only usually buy a couple storage units a year versus I go to the thrift store uh, usually at least twice a week. So in garage and yard sales, again, that's another thing is all our season here, you know, uh, non-winter is pretty much May to uh, September, you know, and we've had snow in October. So, but... I'm trying to be conscientious of making videos that people want to watch. And um, that's always the struggle for that and trying to make good content. Um, what What is good content? I mean, I guess you guys decide that. But, you know, obviously if I go into a thrift store and I buy something for $10 and sell it for 100 that that's showing a good score. And to me, that would be con good content. But mm, not putting anything personal on on the channel anymore and i and i've said that the last six months uh just sort of not to cloud the channel so i do appreciate your support and i uh, hope i'll see you around and uh, thanks again guys bye